Well, one year ago, the Indiana State football team had their first winning season since 1996. And as Sports 10's Rick Simler shows, the Sycamores are working even harder this offseason for bigger and better things. The sounds of Mother Nature fill the air at Indiana State Field Camp in Clay County. Mixed with the sounds of the ISU football team. Wednesday marked the last day of off-season workouts for the Sycamores, capped off by a new tradition within the program called Madman. You got to be on borderline insanity to do it. Lowe is not kidding. Just take a look at year number three of Madman, and you'll quickly be glad you're watching this eight-hour grueling workout and not doing it. You know, we consider it a, a strength test, heart, teamwork, conditioning, and just finalize all our hard work and, and finish with one big test, you know, one big eight-hour grueling workout. Two feet to the right of your right foot. The team was divided up into four groups of 12, each group facing several difficult tasks. A wall climb. No joke up there. A three-quarter mile run while carrying 50-pound sandbags and 100-pound heavy bags. A farmer's carry seen here. Those weights weigh 200 pounds apiece. Nice. Keep working, baby. Come on, baby. A 400-pound tire flip. <laughs> the pond run, which is running through shin-deep water that is like quicksand. <laughs> and the canoe races, intended to teach the guys teamwork and endurance. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. As impressive as the Sycamore's physical work is during these workouts, the team says maybe the best thing about Madman is the camaraderie they build. Come on, come on. How much you want to uh, put in for your team? You think you can't do another one, but your teammates cheer you on, and you do that last one. They bond together, not only the individual teams, you know, cheering each other on, but there's team building elements here. You while most ISU fans only see this team on the fall on Saturdays, the Sycamore players say this is where the winning starts. They train harder than anybody in the country. No one else is doing this stuff. No one else has worked as hard as they have, you know, five, six days a week, twice a day at some points. I mean, they, they truly have made their season now, and the rest of it's just go play ball for them. If you work hard and you push yourself, Come on, Brock. then football comes easy. If you push yourself in practice and in weightlifting, it, games come easy and they're fun. Keep it up, baby, keep it up. You know, that fourth quarter mentality, working together. I mean, you see guys over here that, that have nothing left that are just finding two, three, four more reps, and it's, it's, that's what we need, and it, it translates huge to the field for us. Once we get into the fourth quarter, we think of all the training we've done and coming out here and flipping the tire when it's, you know, 100 degrees outside and just all the hard work we put in and you know we want that to pay off. The payoff the Sycamores will be looking for this upcoming season, a playoff for for the first time since the 80s. With photographer John Tim, I'm Rick Simler, Sports 10. Three, one, two, three. Yeah. Wow. Cannot wait to see all the hard work pay off when the Sycamores take the field this season. Looks pretty intense. Huh?